Hi everyone, I recently went to Hong Kong and I didn't really buy much there because I found the prices were so much higher. Even if you went somewhere like the Dragon Computer Store or somewhere like that, which meant to be super cheap, the prices were still so much higher than just buying on like AliExpress or eBay or something like that. So I didn't buy much. But one thing I did buy, which I'm so happy I bought, is this FC portable game console. So as you saw there, I currently got the Super Mario game loaded. Um, if you haven't guessed already, this plays NES games or Famicom. Uh, in some countries it was called NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. In other countries it was called Famicom, which I think is Family Computer Console, something like that. So yeah, um, it's the same thing, but this is the box it comes in. And I'm so happy I bought this because at the time I was like, oh, is it worth the money? I'm not sure. Um, but it turns out it's it's actually really good. Um, for anyone wondering how much this costs, it was 170 Hong Kong dollars, which is around a thousand pesos. Um, now, first of all, let me show you what you get in the box. You get the console, of course, which is handheld. Um, it does have a rechargeable battery in the back here, very similar to a cell phone battery. Uh, in fact, I'll just remove it and show you. So that's the battery there. Um, the battery lasts around three hours. So it's okay, it's not the longest battery ever, it's not the shortest, it's okay. You also get this little case here for it to go in. Um, super like thin case, it wouldn't offer too much protection, but it does add a little bit of protection. Uh, what else you get in the box? You get a instruction manual, and in fact I just found the receipt here so I can show you it. 170 Hong Kong dollars. Um, you also get this little cartridge which plugs in the top. Now my understanding is that this is basically the same size as a Famicom cartridge uh, and when you plug this in you get extra games. So what I'm thinking is maybe you can use the original Famicom cartridges as well. I don't own any so I'm not exactly sure on that but I guess you must be able to because otherwise why would they bother making the cartridge the same size, right? You also get this charger. Now, just like any cheap Chinese charger like that plugs into the wall, the first thing I'd say is throw it away because, you know, they make these for practically nothing and the safety quality concerns are just like out the window. They don't care. So my recommendation would be to throw this away because it uses a standard mini USB cable like this. So all we have to do is get a standard mini USB cable and then plug it into a normal charger or a power bank or something like that. I would not recommend using the supplied charger. It will work, but who knows if it's gonna blow up one day. And then the last thing you get is a cable to connect it to your TV. Yes, you can connect this to your TV and I'm gonna show you that in a little while. So let me bring the camera closer and give you a better look at this thing. Now let me warn you, I'm gonna keep the audio turned off for most of this video because um, it's basically gonna flag like copyright issues if I play all the music for the game. So I might turn it on for little clips here and there but mostly I'm going to keep the audio off. Okay so now we're at my table let's take a closer look. I apologize for all the mess here I haven't tidied up my table recently um, but this is what it looks like so you can see the screen is built in you've got your A and your B button you've also got these which just do like a repeating like they constantly press it for you so if you need to fire a gun for example you can just hold that down and it would be the equivalent of constantly pressing this button. You've got your start select reset and your d-pad. Now on the back you've got the battery area that I showed you earlier you can buy a spare batteries but I don't think I would bother to be honest you've got your speaker grill here on the bottom we've got our volume control and our control to turn it on and off and we've got the cartridge slot on the top and the USB charger here like I said you can use a regular USB charger mini USB and here's our TV out. There is no headphone slot, which kind of sucks. You could make a special adapter that converts this to headphones because it does do audio out, but you'd need to make a special adapter cable. I might make one, I'm not sure. Um, let's turn it on. So first thing you get is the option of what I assume is Chinese and English. So we'll go for English and these are all the games that you get. There's a total of 472, but once you add the little cartridge that comes with it, that bumps it up to around 600. So you get 600 games in total, uh, but most of the best ones are actually built into it. Now, if we start with Super Mario, just because that's one of the most well-known popular games, if I turn up the audio. Oh, oh no, what's happened to my audio? It's the first time this has happened. Let's start, oh no, there you go, okay. So let me just go into the game. I was worried for a second there. And you can see the, look, oh, what am I doing? I just ran straight into him. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go back in there again. So what I was gonna say is you can see that it runs at normal speed. Um, what I have found is the music on this specific game runs a little bit faster. 
but the game itself seems to be normal speed and there's really like no lag or anything like that one of the things I was worried about is whether there was going to be lag or glitches or something like that but you can see it really works okay um, everything works as expected I the only problem I've had with this actually is that there's one game built in that doesn't work on this now my girlfriend also bought one of these and on her one the game works fine but for me I've got one single game that doesn't work Anyway, so that's Mario. Um, there's also Contra, which many people recognize. In fact, they've also got the cheat options here. So if you want to do it with cheats, but you can also just play the regular one. So let's start regular Contra. Um, I think they've also got some of the later versions of Contra as well. You just have to scroll through the game list. Let's turn up the volume. Oops, let's skip this. Now, like I said, I have to be careful about how much audio I play um, because it will get copyright flagged. But let me give you an idea of how the screen looks. It's actually really good quality. Like, I have no complaints about the quality at all. It just, it's really, really good. I'm so glad I bought this. Uh, let me show you one of my favorite games I've been spending a lot of time playing. And this is how I know how long the battery lasts because I've spent a lot of time playing this. Um, let's go down. It's around 176, I think. Uh, 174, Dr. Mario. Now, if you don't remember this, this is the one that's like Tetris. Ding, ding, ding. So yeah, very cool. Um, if you don't remember this, then maybe you never played it, but it's a really, really cool game. It's like Tetris, but it's a bit more advanced. You've got to like try and wipe out these um, these viruses. Now this is first level, so of course it's pretty basic. Let's just quickly get through this. Now I've only got to level 10, so I'm not as good as some other people, but I've got as far as this, and that's what it looks like. You can see it's a lot more advanced, and you have to do a lot more thinking about where you place your stuff. Um, but yeah, it really, it works perfectly. Like I've got no complaints at all. The only thing, I, oh, you can see I broke the warranty seal because I opened this up to look inside. There's really not much to see, just the LCD, the buttons, and then uh, like a single-sided PCB, very, very basic. Uh, but yeah, it just works really well. Um, for anyone curious, you don't have to get this from Hong Kong. I've seen this being sold in the Philippines. If you go on OLX, I've seen this being sold in the US and the UK on Amazon and eBay. So you can get these all over the world. It's just that I happen to buy mine in person in Hong Kong. Oh, and for anyone who's curious, you can run it directly off USB power. If I remove the battery here and then plug in this USB cable, I can then plug that into a power bank or a USB power supply. So let's plug it into this one and it should turn on. There you go. So you can run it directly from USB without any battery inside. Now, of course, some people will be like, why would I buy this when I can just play games on my cell phone running an emulator? Well, that's true, you can do that. But if you ever try playing on a cell phone, it's so difficult, like trying to use the touch screen, it's just not very easy. And a lot of phones can't even actually run the games very smoothly, whereas this thing here runs it very smoothly, the FC Pocket. So yeah, you can technically run them on your cell phone, but yeah, if you tried it, then you probably know how awkward it is. It's much better to have this device here where we've got physical buttons it just makes it so much more fun to play and so much easier anyway let's go to the TV and see this on the big screen now like I showed earlier it's just the old-school cable it's not HDMI or anything fancy like that let's plug it into the TV and here it is on the big screen I'll just turn up the audio so you can see it's working um, now one thing I forgot to mention earlier by the way is you can actually get a second controller which plugs into the charging port so you can do two-player games I don't have the second controller but they do sell one and there you go, look, it's perfect. You don't have the display on the uh, gamepad, it only shows up on the TV or the gamepad. You can see if I unplug this, then it comes up on the console, and if I plug it in, it comes up on the TV. So let's try play. Whoop. Pretty cool, huh? Just like the, uh, the original system. So yeah, that's it on the TV. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.